हेलो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून फोक्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस डे इज नो रेसिंग फोक्स सो आई टॉक लिबर्टी ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑफ व्हाट आई ऑब्जर्व एंड व्हाट यू शुड गाइस बी ऑब्जर्विंग इन द पैडक लॉट्स ऑफ बॉयज आर आस्किंग मी फॉर द सेम आई हैव बीन पुटिंग इट ऑफ बिकॉज आई जस्ट डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू अपलोड सम स्मॉल स्मॉल क्लिप्स आई हैव अपलोडेड फ्रॉम द videos of the racing um anyway this one is uh, going to be a long lengthy uh, kind of a thing so i'll make it into small parts uh, it, what i do is what is called a physical handicapping folks it's something new um for most of you if you make it a habit of uh, this uh, uh, watching horses in the paddock you will be uh, quite successful i can guarantee you you may not uh, <clears throat> make uh, every uh, bet a uh, winning one but uh, you will cut down your losses that uh, that much i can tell you i had a, uh, not a very good bombay season but uh, i laid few horses which were very very dry coated and that uh, saved my neck uh, at the end of the season um it's not a magic uh, it's not a rocket science book uh, i was very lucky so most of you do not know me I am, my name is nilesh patel i was in us for uh, many many years out of which uh, i worked in the race track called santa anita in los angeles california for 8 years out of that 8 years i was uh, worked with a trainer called john harry martin gosden which at that time was a small trainer but then eventually became one of the top world uh, top 5 trainers uh, i knew it he would become a big boy because uh, the way he is training method was the way he was conducting the horse feeding the way he was paying his help all those were very very different than all the other trainers that i had worked i was uh, almost like you folks uh, i did not know horse as from his elbow when i entered the santa anita race track it's a long story uh, some other day uh, but my really luck came when uh, there was a trainer assistant trainer a name charles o'brien he was the son of vincent o'brien who was the uh, number one equivalent of our rashid bairam ji uh, of ireland he was for 20 odd years number one trainer in ireland is the number one racing center in the world in the breeding and racing both uh, and uh, uh, one fine day he came and he said nilesh i forgot my wallet uh, can you uh, get me a pack of cigarette and uh, a can of beer i was scratching my head so he said what happened i said i have no money so what do you mean i don't have money today was a friday paycheck so i said no i bet the whole paycheck on our stable horse only and he lost he said you idiot who, who told you to bet i said no myself he said why so he said last time he won by you know three lengths and blah 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 all the typical handicapping story the horse that we have followed he won again so how can he lose etc etc he said no 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 did you watch his tail i said no did you watch his ears last time and this time i said no did you watch his coat i said no i said these are not uh, i am a handicapper i i am not a this is trainer's job he said no idiot <laughs> this is what is supposed to watch so uh, then he showed me what to watch how to observe and i got very lucky because we uh, we had very expensive horses so every day the veterinary doctor would come for the horses who were running next day and the vet was also number one uh, dr helmut van blucher he would always be late and there would be a video coming around 4:30 every day we had 10 races a day seven days six days a week so uh, that videos he would ask me what did who did you bet so i said this one <clears throat> then he would explain me we had a lot of irish exercise riders and uh, assistant trainers uh, the, the way they were talking every day is not something in india i came back anybody the, they were only talking about horse coat horse ears horse length horse uh, behavior in the paddock in the race going towards the gate so all this was very foreign to me uh, but slowly slowly i learned so i am trying to pass on this uh, hard earned uh, knowledge if you guys take it it's fine i get a big kick out of it if you or your wife or your mother goes to buy a grocery 
or a mango in this season you smell the mango you touch the mango you do this you do that then you'll p- b- buy but then when, <laughs> when it comes to horses you just blindly bet if somebody said good thing somebody said unlimited first of all i i get a big kick out of some oh, bet unlimited bet do this do that uh, what nonsense there are so many permutation combination that goes on in racing in handicapping but the best thing i have found is you watch a race horse in the paddock because that last 15 minutes is the most important thing folks now you don't know what to watch that's a different story but now with this five six uh, videos that i'll make i'm very sure you would have enough knowledge that you can watch what matters is the last 15 minutes not what it was 3 months ago 4 months ago or 6 months ago that is fine that is 50% or 40% uh, um, in my opinion other other 40% is the paddock and now as far as indian racing is concerned the odds are bhagwan bhav is bhagwan as they call it uh, we don't watch the odds especially in the centers like delhi actually all centers have become a uh, very very uh, betting uh, sort of uh, uh, gang uh, the horses go not on job the 2 to 1 becomes 6 to 1 6 to 1 becomes 30 to 10 so bet, bet at last as last as you can folks uh, that one of the advice i can give you uh, i have saved my neck uh everybody is in a big rush to make the book is r- uh, rich they don't want to wait a, a typical race horse folks will change the behavior three times once he comes in the paddock once the jockey gets on his top and one by the gate and the most important behavior because if he is going to be nervous is going to be uh, hyper his behavior will change by, because by the gate he knows now he has to run till then he thinks uh, life is uh, da, 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 da. then he is serious the nervousness will show hyperness will show uh, and then including my boss including pacey uh, uh, all those big gambles they do those are by the gate only folks yeah, uh, we had a big uh, uh, gamblers uh, hollywood glitterati set uh, they would come with a bag full of money because you no know, bookmakers are allowed in us Oh, they'll bet hundred thousand. We had a fifty thousand window, hundred thousand, uh, and they would keep on asking me. <laughs> I said, "I'm waiting for the boss's signal." I said, "Come on, only two minutes left, five minutes left." And 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 by the gate only we get the signal to, uh, uh, that you bet. Uh, so it's very important. But uh, here everybody wants uh, uh, to bet the minutes or odds go, but bam, 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 bam. so uh, but these odds keep on changing very fast folk so anyway uh, going to straight to what i uh, intend to do uh, I, and this one i am going to make a video of uh, the coat which is the most important thing and the neck uh, arch and little bit of tail and ears that's uh, it and then in the next uh, second or the third video for the remaining uh, what needs to be what the ideal horse is a very well proportioned alert without being fixated a beautiful shiny coat with dappling and there is a spring in their step the head is high and neck is bold or arched that's very important book it, all it means is feeling good you want to bet a horse who's feeling good at 3 o'clock uh, for a 315 race or 330 race at 315 if he is not feeling good he is not going to run Uh, that much i can guarantee you a happy horse is the happy horse is run folks it's very simple once you have a runner who is happy half of your dirty work is done uh, whether it comes in your handicapping theory or somebody you follow uh, it's secondary folks you know the coat just like the eyes may be the windows to the soul folks the coat is the mirror of their physical condition if you have a horse with the coat which just glistens you got yourself a, a runner you bet uh, i i am uh, going to uh, uh, give you an example uh, i uh, the first example is a horse called geographic uh, he is very well bred by uh, my ex uh, gosden's uh, uh, horse which won the epsom derby 
uh, unfortunately that day with my luck RWITC had some payment gateway problem. I could not see, but I had very good uh, friends who were inside. Uh, they uh, uh, were nice to uh, send me the video of Jogro Peak, but still, not the, if I had seen him, believe me, I would, it, it would have been my biggest bet of the Bombay season. Jogro Peak uh, uh, court, uh, when it, you see the video clip, uh, glistens, folks. It is not shiny, it glistens. The neck was fully arched and... Uh, Everything I need to see in a race was, was there, I would have banged it. Another horse was, was called Demetrius, not this class of horse, but nonetheless, uh, his coat also. That was also the first race <laughs> next day. That day also, I, I had uh, these two horses I missed uh, big time. I would have recovered quite a bit of money if I had seen him. And I would have, the boys who follow me would have also made a lot of money. I did not post because I said I am unable to watch. I, I am not a paper handicapper, so in the paper handicap I did mention that they are they are a good bet. But till I see with my own naked two eyes, I don't, uh, uh, you know, uh, advise people to uh, suggest rather. Uh, anyway, uh, the quote, uh, the example uh, that I have it, uh, one is a horse called, the clip that you will see was a horse called Walter. Then there is Demetrius, the Geographic, and Northern Light. Now, Northern Light is a grey horse. In a grey, you cannot much uh, see shiny and all. But nonetheless, Northern uh, Light uh, neck uh, is very important. It is always the, uh, arched, bowed, like a, a, a oh, good old-fashioned uh, uh, arrow and a bow. Uh, it, it means it's feeling very, very good. He is a horse with tendon. Pacey did a great job uh, from class uh, 4 or 5, I, I don't know, remember. Uh, it went all the way on the Suresh Ramendra. So the tendon horse only works on the sand track and a swimming and the, that machine uh, on the track. Uh, those are the one how he keeps him uh, fit. And the horses that made... <laughs> Me recover some of the horses we were dry coated our horse called Rodrigo, whom Dallas is on record saying that the, everything is fine with Rodrigo except the coat is very dry, which I have, is a concern to me. Dallas is a good horseman, uh, unlike some other <laughs> trainers in Bombay. And there is a horse called Attained, Nazak Chinois horse. He was extremely dry coated, he was a favorite with the Trevor got on him. And there's was called Selini. This is another one I ate a big time. This was called Time, <coughs> which not only I ate there, but when the horse went to Kolkata, it's still a very dry-coated character. Uh, and uh, I think MPA, uh, some of them horses are extremely shiny-coated, and some are, those who are dry-coated, uh, they lose miserably. Um, uh, anyways, and the horse, there were... Very, very shiny. I made a, a decent money. It was Gendial, uh, Pacey's first time. Her only thing was last minute one handicapped friend of mine told me he won't be able to sprint because the dam is on a stair side and all. King's Best is another one whose coat is, was always good. King's Ransom was another one whose coat was very good. Anyway, uh, uh, that neck arched and coat shining, these are my two very good tips. I am trying to, uh, after this video, post some clipping, as long as I don't get into trouble with RWITC uh, for the uh, breach of uh, uh, their trademark thing, which I do occasionally get it from South America. Some song is there which my uh, third eye mentioned and uh, uh, my suggestion uh, for the paddock view is mentioned there. So it, they object and I am banned in uh, uh, South Polo, uh, South America, some Santa Polo or some city like that. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, my WhatsApp number is double seven nine eight double two double four double eight. Repeat double seven nine eight double two double four double eight. You can say hello for me uh, if you want. Uh, if if you unable to. If I'm unable to upload these other videos, uh, clipping it there, uh, hardly less than a minute, uh, especially of uh, Geographic and uh, 
uh, Demetrius and uh, Walter, uh, then you can say hello. I will be more than happy to send you the clipping on WhatsApp. There won't be, uh, but on YouTube, I could run into some issue with the art of law. I hope not, but you never know. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Do uh, press a like button. Do share with some like-minded friends this particular video. It'll be very helpful. Karbala to hobala. That is my, that is my motto in life. I, I'm just sharing my hard-earned uh, uh, knowledge uh, after a hard life in U.S. Uh, uh, good luck, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, Take care.